But it's so funny. Even after the conversation that we had, somebody goes, who's, who's the other woman that's there? And then somebody goes, I don't know. Do you think they're married? <laughs> it's Colleen York. Wolf. You can follow her on Twitter at Colleen Wolf NFL. Uh-huh. Two L's, two E's, and an E on the end of Wolf Very NFL. Good. Nice yeah. and, and Gonzo CSN at John Gonzalez at Gonzo G O N Z O C S N. Can I you follow to... me on Twitter? You follow me, Colleen? Of course. Uh, I'm just checking. You're verified. I am verified. You're verified. That was a big struggle, and then you got it. You needed that. Because Robin and I marched on Twitter headquarters yeah. in San Francisco. That's how it happened. Really did that. We, really, we did that bit a couple weeks ago. There? That's a true story. We actually walked to the Twitter headquarters right. in San Francisco. And I'm so bummed it was before Periscope, because we could have totally Periscoped that. I know. That would have been, been fun. Huge. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah. Going to that building on Market Street. What was that process like to get? You I mean, can't get in the building. And if you do get in the building, there's guards. Who knows outside? Yeah. And, and they don't have the whole building, no. so they're on certain Security. floors. I think it's more like there's really nobody there that works. I think it's all robots because they, because they, they wouldn't let you go up to the floor. They wouldn't. There was nobody to talk to. And everybody would go into the elevator, and then they just disappear. And you go to the guards' desk, and they say, and it's a gigantic guards' desk, who are you here to see? I said, Twitter. Mr. Twitter, <laughs> the Burr, who's in charge? You have, to, you have to have an appointment to speak. You're just not going to go into Twitter and talk to somebody. I said, why not? You know who I am? I pulled one of those things. That's what I, I said, I need out. to be verified. And then the this security sergeant. Yes. yes. This is amazing. No. Oh, no. And then, and so then we were there, and Tony was like ready to give up. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not giving up. We've come all the way down here. So then I'm like watching people get off the elevator, and I'm looking at their badges to see who has a Twitter badge. Right. And then I was going to... And like, they said, you need a stinking badge to get in this building. <laughs> so then I accosted people outside. I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, do you know who Tony Bruno is? <laughs> we made a bit out of it. We were actually trying yeah, to do a bit. We were, it we wasn't were... like, seriously, I was doing the you know me routine. But so finally, the, like the, the, routine. the third or fourth person that I asked with a Twitter badge, most of them were like getting ready to call security. But then the fourth person said, yes, Tony Bruno. Oh my gosh, they were so excited. And then they were like, okay, I can't really talk to you right now, but here's my email address. Email me. And that's how we got oh, Tony to exactly. yeah. You have to know people. Well, you have yeah. to force your way in. You can't be, you have to be like you Chip Kelly. Right. You have to okay. demand stuff. Well, we found and then out. And a year later, you get fired after right. you demand stuff and you don't do anything with it. But we found out what exactly, what, what went wrong. Because I was the one that sent in the Twitter verification. And I, at the time, he was employed by 97.5. And I found out that the Twitter verification process had changed, that because he was on local radio, that did not qualify him. It was his, you either had to be on national radio, part of a large corporation that would send in your Twitter request as a group, or you had to be on TV. Because it was originally based on followers. Wow. Yeah. If you had a certain number of followers, you were verified. Right. And then they made it more difficult because everybody wants to And then verified. as soon as I changed, I was like, well, no, he's not just on 97.5. I put the fact that he was on ESPN and all that. Then they went, oh, yeah, of course. Say hello to my lips. Exactly right. <laughs> then I went in there with a chainsaw in the right. bathroom, and I took care of the rest of those that guys. Works, yeah. Speaking of... 